to talk about C sharp 8 features such as index range and also uh, I will uh, talk a little bit about span so let's get started uh, basically I have an array which is, I call original and it has uh, these numbers and here I'm just printing them out and so you can see and I've already printed it out for you so you can see it prints out what we expect and the reason I have the printout is so I can demonstrate this newer features so what you can do uh, to actually work with the range you can uh, define a variable called range if you want to and we will uh, just define it to show what the range looks like and let's say the range is going to be from 1 to uh, 1 to uh, essentially the end of the array and the way to define this would be essentially uh, saying that we want to start from 1 here and it goes to the end of the array and this is like the end of the array exclusive or symbol uh, from the end of the array so this is the range and uh, the, to use a range what you can define is a new variable called uh, portion and uh, we would be essentially saying that this variable is essentially uh, the same as uh, original or at least it will make a copy from the original and uh, we'll give it a range that we want to work with and I'm going to also uncomment this so we can see that this is really a copy of the original array so this is making a copy and it's going to make a copy from 1 through 5 here so let's see what it does and if I run it through uh, it is going to be essentially uh, getting a range and you can see that it got the range from 1 through 5 so that's and it is uh, an original is still there so it's really a copy of that array so that's how you can define the ranges you can define a start index here and in the here you can also define uh, uh, through a regular index or you can define it the index from the very end and that way you can use the exclusive or symbol and if you use exclusive or zero here basically means start from the very end here five uh, another uh, usage of this can be that if you wanted to change something in this array you can uh, uh, normally just uh, as you know you can also specify that you want to change a particular item and let's say if I just say I want to change the item uh, from the end the first item from the end or uh, one item uh, left to the end and just change it to 100 so you can see what the end result is going to be here and as you can see it is going to change it to uh, 100 this one uh, from the range so the way it refers in the range you can see it's an exclusive one and here since the indexes go from 0 through length minus 1 that's why I had to use this hat 1 because it has to be length minus 1 for the index here so that's actually fine and dandy but let's say for some reason you did want it to actually have a range but operate on a portion of the array or the same array instead of making a copy for performance improvements so uh, to do that what you can also uh, do is uh, what you what is called as a span so instead of using just this portion i'm going to essentially create what it is a span and i don't really need to talk about ranges here so i'm going to get rid of that as well and uh, let's say i would want to create a span so span is going to refer to the same array really so the way you do it is as new span and since it is going to be of the type and i'm going to say it is going to start from the original uh, object uh, original array here and it's going to go from one uh, index to uh, length of three so you can see this is the length three and now i've basically created a span uh, here and you can see the span is a basically a subset of this array and i can also still change it and uh, what i'm going to do is get rid of this because we don't need to uh, worry about this for a second here and i'm going to comment this out and see what it does so now it is going to actually uh, um, original array is being changed here when i uh, change something in the portion so let's just uh, run this again and see what happens and as you can see it basically created a span from one through uh, three element span one two three so this is the span uh, i have portion and i'm changing the 
last element of that 200 so this would become 100 so now the array is going to be 0 1 2 100 4 and 5 so the, if you uh, want to change the original array what you want to do is efficiently use span so that's another technique and i also talked about index and range thank you for watching this short screencast and i'm going to add it to my uh, website under god associate and i will uh, just call it c sharp span index range in uh, how many how long it took to do this uh, video thanks bye